Over the past several weeks, we've reported on multiple pedestrians that have been hit and killed in the upstate. One local nonprofit is hoping that will change by sharing the lives of those who were killed. Our Kelsey O'Donnell joins us live tonight with more. Kelsey. Diane, some residents tell us they're concerned with the amount of pedestrians that have been hit and killed over the years here in Greenville County. One of those main locations right here on White Horse Road, a very heavily traveled area here in the county. And some advocates are hoping something will change. It's sites like these, memorials along roads and highways in Greenville County that mark sites of deadly accidents, in many cases involving pedestrians. These are people that had lives and their lives got cut short. Frank Monsbach has been advocating for bicyclists and walkers for a decade now with nonprofit Bike Walk Greenville. These roads were designed to move automobiles with little regard to the safety of the people on foot and on bicycles. Each day, the number of pedestrian deaths continues to rise. A lot of these pedestrian fatalities that we're seeing, and I, I want to say there's close to 80 so far this year, it's, it's, it's lots of times it's happening at night, and sometimes when these people are crossing the roadway, they're just assuming that traffic's going to stop for them. And unfortunately, lots of times that's not the case. These are 22 out of 38 people. The coroner's office told Bike Walk Greenville that died between 2021 and 2022. Many walking or biking in Greenville County. They're the lies Monsbach says that push him each day to seek change. Our society designs for cars. Everybody drives a car. And we don't invest enough in the safety of people walking and biking. Bike Walk Greenville broke down the numbers and the cases, details they received from the coroner. Whitehorse Road, he says, one of the deadliest, along with Pleasantburg Drive and Wade Hampton Boulevard. These are high speed roads, and the infrastructure doesn't, is not designed for them to cross safely. SCDOT is working on a number of safety improvements in Greenville County, specifically here on Whitehorse Road with safety upgrades for pedestrians. It, it's happening slowly, the investment, but you know, you, you take all the major roads in Greenville County, it's really hard to get the investment we need. CDOT says they are making some safety upgrades here on Whitehorse Road, but still the Greenville County Coroner's Office says this area, Whitehorse Road in Greenville County, is one of the deadliest for drivers and pedestrians. Live in Greenville County, Kelsey O'Donnell, 7 News. Kelsey, thank you. Bike Walk Greenville says though progress is being made with safety upgrades, they still have a long way to go before they feel comfortable along those heavily traveled roads.